Dahani Harrison, born amidst the pervasive legacy of his iconic father, George Harrison, has gracefully navigated the shadow of his heritage to establish his own footprint in the musical world. From assisting in completing George's posthumous album Brainwashed to establishing his own band, The New Number no. 2, Dahani has demonstrated a profound ability to honor his father's legacy while also exploring his artistic identity. Join Facts First as we present George Harrison's son is all grown up and looks just like him. Early Life Dahani Harrison, born August 1, 1978 in Windsor, Berkshire, England, is a musician and the only child of George Harrison, famed guitarist of the Beatles, and Olivia Harrison, a producer and author. Growing up in the shadow of such a monumental figure in the music industry, Dahani was exposed to the world of music and entertainment from an early age. But his parents made concerted efforts to keep his childhood as normal and grounded as possible, despite the global fame of his father. Dahani attended Badgemore Primary School in Henley-on-Thames and later studied at Dolphin School in Hearst. He went on to pursue a degree in industrial design and physics at Brown University in the U.S. Dahani's initial career path seemed to be veering away from the music industry, but the gravitational pull of his musical lineage was strong. His career in music took shape starting in the early 2000s. His first notable involvement was assisting in the completion of his father's final album, Brainwashed, after George Harrison's death in 2001. Working alongside his father's close friend and collaborator, Jeff Lynne, Dahani helped to finish the album, which was released in 2002 and went on to win a Grammy. Dahani's music career. While inevitably linked to the immense legacy of his father, Dahani has crafted a career that is both respectful of his heritage and explorative of his own artistic inclinations. His journey in the music industry is a blend of preserving his father's legacy and carving out his own niche, exploring various genres and creative expressions. In 2006, Dahani co-founded the alternative rock band The New No. 2 alongside Oliver Hex. Dahani, as the lead vocalist and guitarist, became the driving force behind the band which is known for its eclectic and experimental sound, blending rock with electronic elements. The band's debut album, You Are Here, was released in 2008 and was followed by The Fear of Missing Out in 2012 and Beautiful Creatures' original motion picture soundtrack in 2013. The band's work has been featured in various films and TV shows, and they've performed at notable events like Coachella. Tahani has been involved in various collaborative projects, too, such as with Fistful of Mercy, a supergroup formed with Ben Harper and Joseph Arthur. The trio released an album, As I Call You Down, in 2010. Furthermore, he's worked on scoring for film and television, including for the TV series Good Girls Revolt, and of course that film Beautiful Creatures. His music, while bearing echoes of his father's influence, also ventures into territories that reflect his own artistic preferences and explorations. His work is characterized by a willingness to experiment with sounds and genres, and a dedication to authentic, meaningful musical expression. Dahani's Relationship with George Dahani Harrison's relationship with his father was deeply rooted in love, respect, and a shared passion for music. Despite George's global fame as a member of the Beatles, he and his wife Olivia tried to provide Dahani with a grounded and normal upbringing, away from the pervasive glare of the media spotlight. George was known to be a private person, and he extended this privacy into his family life, ensuring Dahani could enjoy a childhood unburdened by his father's celebrity status. The bond between Dahani and George was evidently strong and was particularly encapsulated through their mutual love for music. He not only inherited his father's musical talent, but also his sensibilities and interests in various aspects of the arts and of spirituality. They spent quality time together and George introduced his son to the world of music, both as an art form and as a business, sharing experiences and knowledge that would later be invaluable to Dahani in his own career. When George was diagnosed with lung cancer, Dahani was deeply involved in helping him during his illness and worked alongside him during his final days. After George's passing in 2001, Dahani, demonstrating remarkable strength and commitment, took it upon himself to ensure that his father's final album, Brainwashed, was completed and released. This act was not only a tribute to his father's legacy, but also a testament to the profound bond and shared musical language 
between father and son. Dahani has often spoken about his father with great admiration and love in various interviews, reflecting on the lessons, both personal and musical, that he inherited from him. While Dahani has indeed followed in his father's musical footsteps, he's also carved out his own identity, blending the profound influence of his father with his own innovative artistic expressions. Of course, Dahani wasn't born until eight years after the Beatles had broken up, so he wasn't raised as the son of a Beatle, or so he thought. In 2011, a documentary was released called George Harrison Living in the Material World. It was directed by Martin Scorsese and gave a behind-the-scenes look at the man many referred to as the Quiet Beetle. And in that doc, Dahani is asked about early recollections of his dad. He responds, quote, My earliest memory of my dad is probably of him somewhere in a garden covered in dirt, somewhere hot, a tropical garden, in jeans, khakis covered in dirt, just continuously planting trees. I think that's what I thought he did for the first seven years of my life. But eventually, Dahani came to realize who his father really was. And he has always had passion for George's music, especially his solo work. In 2014, he was asked to remaster some of George's solo music, and he was interviewed about it. That's when he revealed a surprising opinion, that his favorite album of his dad's was Wonderwall Music. It's a lesser-known work, and was originally created as a soundtrack for a movie called Wonderwall. But eventually, George decided to turn it into a full-length album of his own. Said Dahani, quote, I remember getting a CD of it in the early 90s and thinking, what is this? You're sitting there almost meditating to the music, literally drooling in your lap. Then a Shanai or an Indian oboe will come in and practically take the top of your head off. He also noted that the record not only had Eric Clapton playing on it, but it's also full of fun horns, backwards guitar, and a host of psychedelic and deep sounds. The whole album is also fully instrumental, making an even odder choice as Dahani's favorite. George's Legacy George Harrison has left an indelible mark on music, crafting a legacy that transcends generations and genres. Harrison's songwriting, while perhaps less prolific than that of his bandmates John Lennon and Paul McCartney, brought forth some of the Beatles' most beloved tracks, such as Something and Here Comes the Sun. His spiritual and introspective nature often permeated his work, providing a unique and profound depth to his contributions to the band's catalog. After the Beatles disbanded, Harrison embarked on a successful solo career, releasing several albums, including the critically acclaimed All Things Must Pass, which showcased his ability to meld melodic, lyrical, and instrumental elements into a cohesive and compelling artistic expression. Harrison's legacy also is rooted in his humanitarian efforts and dedication to spiritual exploration. His concert for Bangladesh in 1971 was a pioneering endeavor in the realm of benefit concerts bringing together numerous artists to raise funds and awareness for the refugees of the Bangladesh Liberation War. Harrison passed away November 29, 2001, but his legacy resonates powerfully in the music world and beyond. Now it's time to hear from you. Can you see the resemblance between Dahani and George? Let us know in the comments section below.